Okay, you guys, this is our little next YouTube video. Um, want to discuss the Adobe 11.1 .1 beta, which actually converts my Canon EOS CR3 files to DNG. Okay, uh, let's look at here. Okay, you see it's version 11.1.0.0. 107 okay so it is out in the field and for you guys that shoot raw you're gonna thank me <laughs> um, unless you have a different setup okay I don't know what setup you guys are using I don't have a monthly yearly subscription to Adobe products so I'm still using Lightroom 6 and I'm highly considering capture one uh, possibly because of that reason depending on how much photography I do uh, maybe some videos later on uh, because my life has really taken over uh, my work and my family life has taken me over I have not been able to enjoy uh, all work and no play makes it boring me <laughs> um, see I can show you some in Lightroom 6 so you know what's going on it's not a uh, falsehood I'm trying to tell you that it's out there it's out there uh, just a couple of files here these are for a different video I just want you to see uh, is DNG and I'm it's library here. Can you guys saw my monitor there? Can you see that? Oops. See my monitor there? It's starting to go. <laughs> uh Dell 24 inch. Um from about seven years ago, about two hundred and forty dollars, a really good one. Works really good. <laughs> We're in library, Canon EOS R. Um lens is a thirty five millimeter uh, right here it's at f2.8 RF 35mm f1.8 macro IS STM and it is a 2.8 for this particular shot um, I have a few others in here and I did want to show you one last thing because I'll get into these later on oh, another DNG file uh, at 1.8 I think I try to focus here and I think this got in focus this is not an easy picture to take <laughs> had an issue with that uh, but we did okay anyway when the next video comes you guys will see it one last thing before I go uh, this is a JPEG before I uh, got the uh, Adobe DNG 11.1 .1 beta converter and it's a little difficult to find but I'm gonna show you guys how to find it okay uh, can you see the bokeh on this how clean this is that is utterly amazing I mean Someone might think this is concentric circles, but it's actually a bunch of lights. It's not. Uh, just look at it close, okay? This is in the shade where you would get all kinds of funkiness going on, and it is pretty damn good. So I'm very surprised at the bokeh on here. Uh, the nine uh, rounded aperture blades is uh, it's amazing. Uh, for this price range, there's a lot of really good stuff going on here. So this video is coming. I just don't have the time right now. All right, so let's close this for now, and let's go find the Adobe... DNG convert. Now, if you type, uh, if you type DNG, you're gonna get a different uh, one that's gonna come up. I believe. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe I have to type TNG converter. <laughs> okay, converter, excuse me. A little slow at this. Okay, let's do the one for. This is Photoshop. I'm just looking for the TNG converter. Okay. Is this it right here? Ooh. For Windows. Okay, there's 11.0. I have 11.1. .1. When you typed it, normally this was the one that came up, the 10.2. I don't know what these other versions are. 8.22, 10.9. Um, but we need one higher than this, I believe. Okay, this is 11.0. EOSR came in 
on 11.1 doesn't say the EOS saw so this actually you can use this version for the EOS saw I didn't even know this version was out somebody mentioned it or I saw it somewhere on the site or something so you can use this one and it was this is a seems to be a full version not a beta uh, hmm interesting so there's more than one out now this is the one I actually downloaded and yep, there's the 11.1 that's adding these these iPhones and this one here. And I was confused when I saw this uh, and I downloaded it because I didn't see the EOS R. So it comes in 11.0. 11.1 works just as fine. So you can use either one, the 11.0 or 11.1, .1, and you'll be just fine. Okay, there is your Adobe DNG converter you need to switch up your Canon EOS R C R three Royal Raw file, excuse me. Um sure it does the C Raw also because it says EOS R. You guys saw that in the eleven point oh version. So it seems there's two versions out there right now in the field that you can convert your guy's stuff. I'm surprised nobody put up a video on this yet, but uh I did see it. I have to give credit to Mr. Dustin Abbott. Uh, he put a video on high ISO images, and I kind of wigged out. So, well, how did he convert it? Because I saw he was using Lightroom, I guess, CC, and uh, I had to investigate and popped up immediately. So, I was very happy to see that. Okay, uh, I guess F10, we can end the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I tend to see you guys in the next one. Any questions, just ask. The EOS R is my system. Bye.